Hello viewers, this is a tutorial on how to automate fan page scraper on Facebook using Socinator. This will make it easier for you to filter fan pages on Facebook and scrape them. Let's start with the accounts manager screen from where we can navigate to configure the accounts. To do that, right click on your Facebook account and hit go to tools. It will take you to the account configuration screen. You can see the available activities which can be automated on Facebook through Socinator. Let's click Fan Page Scraper. This is very useful as it makes it faster and easier to filter a number of fan pages on Facebook within a period of time while narrowing them down in the process and scrape them. There are several configuration categories for Fan Page Scraper. Let's begin with Search Query. As the name suggests, Search Query allows you to command the software on how to search targeted fan pages to scrape. There are two important sections, Query Type and Query. Query Type defines how you want to search the fan page. You can select the Query Type through the drop-down button. Once you have selected your Query Type, enter the query either manually by typing in this area, or you may also import from CSV or text file by clicking this button. Select the right file and click Open. When you're done, click the Add Queries to the List button and it will be added to the Queries list over here. To show you how this works, let's test each query type. For keywords, let's input Oreo. Click the Add Queries to the List button and it's added here in our Queries list. So this will target Facebook fan pages containing this keyword. The next one is Graph Search URL. So for this one, we need to copy and paste the search URL from Facebook. So we need to search something on Facebook, let's say Oreo, and then click Pages because we want to scrape fan pages. And then copy the search URL and paste it here. Click Add. So this will target the search results of this specific search URL. So the following fan pages. Next, you may also specify a page URL by choosing Custom Page URL. So let's say this specific page URL, which is the official Oreo page, paste it in the query box and click Add, and it will target this specific fan page. The next one is Job Configuration. This allows us to choose the speed at which an account should scrape fan pages. We have already created a few activity speed configurations which you can use, like slow with an average daily activities of 83, medium with 208, fast with 333, or super fast with 500. Super fast is not recommended for new or real accounts. If you want to define your own speed settings, click advanced settings. Delay between each operation is the number of seconds between each Facebook fan page is scraped. Delay between jobs is the number of minutes the software should pause after scraping the number of fan pages you set in scrape number of fan pages per job. Scrape number of fan pages per job will allow you to specify the number of Facebook fan pages you want to scrape per job or per cycle. You may also specify the number of Facebook fan pages to scrape per hour, per day, and per week. Click this box if you want to increase each day with a specific number until it reaches another custom number of scrape max fan pages per day. You can also create a daily schedule on their day of the week when to operate. This is very useful if you want to keep scraping fan pages even when you're asleep or busy doing other things. If you don't want to operate on Monday, click the trash bin button under Monday and it's gone. You can add multiple time frames in one day. Simply click the day you want to configure, Monday for example. Provide the start and end time, let's say 12 a.m. to 1.59 a.m. And click add interval and it's added. Let's add another one. Let's say 2 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. Click Add. So as you can see, we can have several schedules in one day. You may save these time settings by clicking Create Favorite. Let's say Facebook Scrape Page. Click Save. We can then open it by clicking Select Favorite Time and choosing Facebook Scrape Page. The last filter is Fan Page Filter. This allows us to filter the fan pages we want to scrape on Facebook. For example, check this box if you want to scrape verified pages only. Next, check this box if you want to target pages liked by your friends on Facebook. 
Next, you have the option to specify the category of the fan page you want to scrape. So these are the categories. Choose any category if you don't want to specify. Finally, you can specify how many likes the fan page should have. So let's click scrape the pages which contains likers between let's say 500 and 5000. So 500 to 5000 likes. When you're satisfied with all the configurations and are ready to start scraping fan pages, let's scroll up and hit the save button, success, and click the status button to make it active. To view the fan pages you have scraped, you may click the reports button and it will show up in this area. Now that it's active, let me show you another option in automating fan page scraper on Facebook using Socinator. This one allows us to create campaigns, which is perfect for multiple accounts. To start, let's go to the right side of the app and click the social drop down button and select Facebook. This will take us to the accounts tab. Let's switch to the scraper tab and select fan page scraper on the left side of the app. Here we can name our campaign. Let's call it Facebook fan page scraper. For search query, let's target uh, Oreo. For job configuration, an average daily activities of 83 should be okay. So let's select slow. And for fan page filter, so let's select any category and 500 to 5,000 likes. When you're ready, let's click the blue button, select account or accounts. In this part, you can select multiple Facebook accounts. Since we only have one account right now, let's go with that by checking the box and click save. After saving, let's click the red button, create campaign. If you want to proceed, check the box of the account and click the save button. This will automatically bring us to the campaigns tab where you can see that we have successfully created our Facebook fan page scraper campaign. Click the status button to pause the campaign and the action button over here will allow us to edit, duplicate, or delete the campaign. You may also click the report button to view the Facebook fan pages you have scraped. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot and thank you so much for watching.